Welcome to my Create Studio Doodle tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to use the Lightning Builder to very quickly create your Doodle video. Now if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that, if you haven't gotten to pick up Create Studio, they currently come with the ability to get a very special deal. So I will leave that link there so you can get all of the great details. Let's begin. So when we have Create Studio up and running, we want to go to the Lightning Builder up at top. And the cool thing about this is that we can choose the video ratio, but for this specifically, I want to say like it's going to be for a YouTube video. I'm going to click on standard. And from here, there's so many different styles of videos that we can create, but obviously based upon this tutorial, we're going to be going with the doodle video. So as you can see here, there's going to be plenty of subcategories and of course themes if you want to keep them consistent. Overall, I'm just going to go to all themes so you can see all of them. And when we're getting started, we're going to be looking for an opener. So let's start right there. As you can see, a lot of these are going to be like, this is Tom, this is Tom, or we can have some intro with subtitles, intro with characters, or just a simple intro overall. I'm going to go with the this is Tom one, so I'm going to add this scene in. And from here, we can move on over to the next section, which is going to be content. So as it shows like Tom runs an online business, this one's going to be good because I'm going to be doing something related to that. But there are a, a few others here that you can utilize in case you're looking for something different or like looking for a better way to make videos. Maybe you would use that if you didn't have Tom in the first one, but just kind of giving you some ideas. I'm going to go with this here. You know, you can also edit this out too. So it doesn't have to be for running an online business, but I will show you that anyway. Let's click on add scene. Now we have the problem. So we can do a whiteboard, we can do sales or sad emoji. I'm going to stick with the Tom one here and you can't make any sales. Let's click on add scene. Now something I've noticed here with the solution, there's a lot of them that kind of drags the like logo over this one or draws it. I want to add something in between there. So what we can do is say go back here. So what I want to do is add this whiteboard one so we can talk a little bit more and then it says like and then he discovered the solution. So I'm going to add this one in here. Then I'm going to go back to the solution where it drags it in and shows like then he found this one. Let's do add scene. And now we have our benefits which we can add here. This is like now Tom's business is thriving. That's a good one. Or we could just do a big headline with a lot of pros there. And there's going to be a few others like testimonials. I'm going to go with this one to kind of keep it similar looking. Of course, we have a call to action. Once again, I'm just going to do add scene on this one. There are going to be some titles here in case you want to utilize them. This is another good spot where in case you want to add anything else in there at any time in your scenes, you can do that. There's one more thing I want to showcase before we go off to the editor. If you click in between the videos anywhere, you can click right here. You'll notice this is where we can show our transition. So what you can do is go through each of them separately and add just like say a transition. Or what you can do is just find one that you like, like let's say that one. I'm going to click there. And what you can do is just go here and do the next one. But if you happen to like one transition especially, you can just do apply to all scenes like this. And when you click off, you're going to notice there's transitions throughout all of the slides here, which is great. It'll save you a lot of time, right? Especially if you find a transition that you like. Let's go to editor here. It's going to add to add some music, which you can certainly do. You don't have to do it here. You can do it in the editor as well. I'm specifically not just going to add any because I don't want anything talking over me because what I want to do is when the actual doodle animation starts playing, I want to talk through myself. So I'm just going to click skip. Feel free to add in any music that you like here, though. All right, so here we are in the editor. And if we look at the bottom here, we have our timeline. I'm going to scroll down just so you can kind of see how they're stacked like this. You can see the green little selections here are going to be the transitions that we used. And each of these are going to be the scenes that we can edit very easily. I'm just going to click play very quickly so you can see what the first one looks like. We have some sketch noise in the background. This is Tom. There's our transition. Great. So let's say we want to edit this. We click on our opener and we can just kind of drag it here so you can see what it looks like. If you notice, we have our text right here. We have this is and Tom. Let's just say it's going to be named James just to show you how it looks when we change it. Perfect. We have our overlay image. We have our background color. Let's stick with that, of course. If you want to change this around more, you can click on the specific text here. This is where you can go with the font, the weight, the color, and just like if you want to make it a little bit more spiffy, I'm going to keep it like that because you can always focus more on the aesthetics. I just want to make sure you have the main idea down, right? So that's going to be that scene. The next one is going to be the story scene. So Tom runs an online business. Let's click there. Let's do James once again, keep it consistent. We don't want his name to be James and then Tom. It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, I thought we just had one person. So let's move back up here so we can see the next scene. There we go. Let's drag this over. So next is going to be the problem, but unfortunately he just can't make any sales. All right, I think that's fine there, but unfortunately he just can't make any sales. Seems like a pretty common problem when it comes to business. So I'm gonna keep that there. We don't need to edit anything. 
Then we have the problem, okay? This is the one I added in, because if you'll notice, it talks about the problem right here, and then it talks about finding the solution. So here we just wanna add a little bit more that's gonna kinda segue us better into discovering the solution. So what we wanna do is change this here, and so what we can do is just delete all of this and add in something new. Okay, then he stumbled upon Marketing Island. And you'll notice if we do one sentence there, it's gonna run on through. So what we can just do is hit enter for a line break and that is perfect, okay? So then he stumbled upon Marketing Island. Let's drag this up and let's drag this over. All right, and what we can do is actually edit our logo. So let's click right here. And you'll notice we have logo. So if you have yours, what you wanna do is click on replace right here. And from there, what we wanna do is import media. All right, and I got my logo very quickly. So I'm gonna click on this. And there we go. So it is gonna be a little bit better if it is a PNG. And maybe for this, I guess it could be better as well if it maybe had the circle around it, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. We have our nice little logo there. In fact, <laughs> I just have my logo. I'd probably better off using the one that has my title under, but you know, little aesthetic things we can always change after. So now time, time. Tom's business is thriving. Let's change this once again. There we go. And then we have the opener here, which is just gonna be a little bit more, okay? So get started at, it's you know a call to action. So get started at, let's go here. Once again, let's replace the logo. We already have it. Okay, YT, let's just do like marketing island. There you go. Okay, I don't have an exact URL. It would be very long and like no one's gonna ever type in a very long YouTube URL. What you can always do is forward it, but I'm just doing that for the example. So, and just like that, we have a very quick doodle animation video when it comes to someone say having a problem, stumbling upon a solution, and of course having some benefits. Now, there are other cool things we can do. For example, let's say this one right here. Let's go back over here. And this was gonna be the, the benefits here. So what we can do is click on scenes, we can do get scenes. Okay, and let's go back to the doodle ones that we had used previously. And what we're doing is probably gonna be more of the benefits, right? So if we scroll down where there was one where it says like, now Tom's business is thriving. Let me move here. But there's gonna be other ways of obviously presenting that. So right here, we could do this one. Let's do download. And let's do add scene. Scene has been added, great, let's close. And we have this scene right here. What we can do is just drag it in. So we can actually just replace it if needed to. So for example, let's say we want to just delete this one. We can just click on backspace and I'm gonna move this over and out of the way. And what we can do is add the opener about right. Let's see, this should go right here. There we go, so that line comes out. And same thing with the opener, okay? So now we can do is actually just go here and we can edit this. Okay, so we have some benefits here. Just given the fact this is a YouTube channel, you know, if it was a product, it would be something different. I'm just gonna add some things right here so you can see what they look like. All right, there we go. So I just put marking island benefits. I also spelled strategies, right? Let's get that at least good. <laughs> strategies. Okay, so we have software reviews and tutorials, exclusive d discounts and deals, as well as digital marketing strategies. All right, and so you'll notice that there's not gonna be any transitions. We can actually add some if we need to, like another way of doing it. So if I, I click on the feature list right here, if we go up here, there's gonna be some transition sections. Once again, this is gonna be a process where we can just download them and use them, but I'm gonna just say go with this one here. There we go. And when I drag and drop it in, you'll notice how it's gonna showcase right there. So if I do the same thing like with the opener, and there we go, you're gonna notice how it now has that transition. So that was you know, creating our doodle animation. What I'm gonna do is go back to the beginning so you can actually hear it from square one. So creating this is very easy when it comes to getting up and running. You're pretty much choosing the slideshows that you're gonna be using. From then on out, you're changing around the text. And of course, if you wanted to say add a scene, I showed you how to do that as well. So allow me to play this here. We have our opener. Where it's gonna be, this is James. Remember, we changed that around. Very easy to change the text. James runs an online business. You know, he's doing his thing. But unfortunately, he just can't make any sales. Sad face, question mark, what's going on? Then he stumbled upon Marketing Island. The solution and then the reveal, dragging it in. We have Marketing Island, thumbs up, okay? And then we have our a new transition there. So we have software reviews and tutorials, exclusive discounts and deals, digital marketing strategies, pretty cool. Oops, I'm just dragging this over, stop, let me hit play. And of course, last but not least is gonna be the opener. 
get started at YT Marketing Island. It shows it shows opener there. That's why I said opener. It's actually like the end, you know, the call to action. This is where you want to go. Obviously, if you have a main domain, you know, that would be better. But that's just an example. And I hope you enjoyed this doodle tutorial when it comes to utilizing Create Studio. Uh, it's pretty cool how you can utilize the Lightning Builder to really get up and running very quickly. I think that's a huge benefit of it. You don't have to focus on a lot of tedious things. A lot of it's going to be done when you're choosing it. And then it's more about just changing around your text, adding your logo, your domain, and so on and so forth. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten the Grab Create Studio, my link will be in the description where you can get that very special deal that they have. I think you're really going to enjoy it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Create Studio Doodle tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.